Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, thank you, Mayor Coleman, for hosting us in St. Paul. Thank you, Chairman Tannenbaum and Senator Klobuchar, for your continued support for pool safety and spa safety. And for Pool Safely Day, I'd really like to thank Susan Foss from Foss Swim School for being my cohort and helping us set up a plan for Pool Safely Day and that people in the community right here in St. Paul can come here today and have tips to learn how to go to the pool safely. They can have simple steps to save lives. They can bring their children to the pool today free of charge. And Foss, Swimming, Foss Swim School is here to help educate them on how they can go to the pool and be at the pool safely. Abby's Hope Charitable Foundation was created because of Abby and because of her desire to make sure what happened to her did not happen to another child. We have worked fiercely in the last two and a half years to raise awareness of pool safety and supervision around the pools. We go out into classrooms and we educate children at a school age on what they need to do to go to the pool safely, reminding them that everyone should have in their pool bag a water watcher card. And when someone takes you to the pool, your grown up that's with you has to wear this. And we send the water watcher pledge so that they sign the pledge and agree to watch their children while they're at the pool. Active supervision is one of the first steps in keeping your kids safe at the pool. Another step would be having barriers and fences. We all know that children seem to disappear quicker than we can keep our eyes on them. But if we can, we have to rethink it. Instead of always trying to educate the kids, why don't we educate the adults? If we take the initiative and we keep their surroundings safe, making sure the pools are safe, making sure the drain covers are safe and attached and compliant with state laws as well as federal laws. We can make the pools a safe and fun place that they should be for our families. We have worked really hard on educating. We created a program this past December to go out into the underserved populations and do a water safety class. So far this year, we've reached almost 2,000 children who would never have taken a swimming class of any type. And we've given them a basic water safety class so that they know how to enter the water, how to right themselves in the water. And this is a really important task to get, every child should know how to right themselves in the water, what they need to do to be safe around the water. We live in a world surrounded by lakes and rivers and pools. We want our kids to be safe. Today, through Pool Safely Day, we're trying to raise awareness. Pools are a year-round fun experience. I love the pool, my kids love the pool. But we need to remember that swimming is a life skill and we need to really be advocates for our children. With your help, we can continue to remain vigilant in our fight and ensure that the safety regulations in place are enforced as well as help promote the creation of new laws and regulations to make sure that all pools are structurally safe. Remember, today is Pool Safely Day. We know that accidents do happen, but when you look at the causes of most accidents, you'll find that they're actually a result of predictable and preventable occurrences. At Abby's Hope Charitable Foundation, we're working to stop those preventable accidents from hurting kids. It's just that simple. And now I'd like to introduce Rick Root from the World Water Park Association. Good morning. I'm delighted to be here today on behalf of the members of the World Water Park Association to help spread the pool safely message. My thanks to the CPSC and Chairman Tannenbaum, Senator Kolbeshar and Mayor Coleman and Katie Taylor for their leadership on this critical issue. I'd also like to thank the team here at Great River Water Park for hosting this important event. The World Water Park Association is proud to be a partner in the CPSC's Pool Safely campaign, along with Abby's Hope, the American Red Cross, the National Drowning Prevention Alliance, 
and other national water safety organizations. The CPSC's Pool Safely campaign and its national call to action with the creation of Pool Safely Day will save lives and reduce injuries and drownings across the U.S. Childhood drowning is a true public health crisis, but by embracing multiple strategies, such as those outlined in Simple Steps Save Lives, it is preventable. The adoption of these simple steps must become a national effort by families, by public health officials, by industry, and by the media. The water park industry and its thousands of aquatic professionals share an unwavering commitment to guest safety, and that commitment and their unwavering diligence have made water parks the safest place for families to play in the water. Since its inception 30 years ago, the primary focus of the World Water Park Association has been education and the establishment of operating procedures that improve the experience and, most importantly, the safety of our guests. In 2002, the WWA established National Water Safety Month to support that initiative and help build public awareness. Eight years later, WWA member water parks, in partnership with the National Recreation and Parks Association and the Association of Pool and Spa Professionals, continue to champion this important initiative. Being water aware is clearly vital during that summer swimming season, but perhaps more so during months of the year when people spend less time in the water. Today, community aquatic facilities and the explosive growth of indoor water park resorts, including 16 right here in Minnesota, offer a wide range of aquatic fun that can be enjoyed year round. We're pleased to support Pool Safely Day and to encourage participation in activities that help spread the Pool Safely message as we head into the fall when families take time to enjoy these facilities. Whatever the time of year, our challenge remains. We must be vigilant and do all that we can to educate parents and children to be water aware and to understand the Pool Safely message that simple steps really do save lives. Learning to swim is one simple step that families can take any time of the year. Research shows that if a child doesn't learn to swim by the time they're in third grade, they likely never will. This past June, the WWA, along with dozens of national and local partners, championed the world's largest swimming lesson event as a platform to communicate that swimming is a life-saving skill and vital part of a multi-step approach to prevent drowning. Thousands of people participated in the event at hundreds of aquatic facilities around the globe, including 34 states in the U.S. We encourage parents to take advantage of the fall and winter Learn to Swim programs at indoor aquatic facilities, from water parks to YMCAs, from, wa from community pools to swim schools and fitness clubs. Being safe in and around the water requires more than just swimming lessons. But learning to swim and the exposure to water safety messages that swimming lessons offer provide a lifelong foundation for drowning prevention. Finally, we urge everyone to remember that parents are a child's first line of defense. Take simple steps to pool safely, and remember, vigilance is crucial. Swimming is one of life's great joys. Let's keep it that way. Please, pool safely today and every day. Thank you.